So I stress tested some of the stainless steel links and um, they performed spectacularly. So these are 1.6mm stainless wire uh, wound around a 10mm mandrel and then TIG welded shut and just like bent to a butt, like a nice butt. Uh, butt. And then I uh, put a steel rod through my vise and through one of the holes there and then put another steel rod through there and pulled as hard as I could. I reckon I was putting somewhere in the area of 30 kilos worth of weight on the uh, on the links and they deformed but did not break um, which I think bodes well so next up I've got some more links to join so these ones are made from stainless steel wire and um, some of them have got some dags you see there I guess light background um, so I was running water over these as I was cutting them to try to minimize the amount of melt so they ground straight through because I was cutting them with an angle grinder and um, that worked relatively well these are better than my past attempts but um, there's a lot of that in making chainmail um, but you know it's something you can do while you're doing other things so I guess I'll start joining links I may end up buying some links actually um, they're about uh, five bucks for a hundred and there's somewhere around 200 links here out of uh, probably ten bucks worth of stainless wire from Bunnings I could probably buy the stainless wire much cheaper but it's you know probably pretty economical to buy them pre-cut um, because uh, get off there. Yeah, it's not as though I didn't have some more links I could have picked up rather than struggling with that. Um, so you see there's a gap there because the, these were wound around a mandrel and then I cut a slot lengthways along them. Actually, I slid them off the mandrel into the blade. Um, so there's a, there's a gap there. So when you join them, the process is bend them past each other one direction past each other in another direction and then bring them to a butt like that and then they're touching and they're, they're weldable um, however that's like three different steps to get them joined whereas the ones that you buy come split like that and so you thread them in each other and then there's one bend and they're butted which is much much quicker and also the ones you buy don't have the little dags on them um, so you know that's got an especially egregious dag on that one so I don't know I'll probably probably use these to make a section and then buy some and then just put up with them being slightly different if I combine both of these into the same thing okay bye bye